Phuket is a popular beach destination in Thailand and the perfect place to relax, unwind and see some sights. This is Katie from Creative Travel Guys and today we share the best things to do in Phuket. Looking for more travel tips? Make sure to hit subscribe and ring that notification bell. So let's start with the beaches and there are plenty to visit. For relatively untouched quiet beaches, head to Nai Han Beach, whilst the Mai Khao Beach is home to some fabulous luxury hotels. Patong Beach is where the lively nightlife can be found, whilst Kata Beach offers the best of both worlds. Then we have the Big Buddha. All over Thailand, you can find massive Buddhas towering over towns and cities, and Phuket isn't any different. Head to the Narkard Hills to get an impressive view of the 45 meter tall Buddha. You can also get a gorgeous view of the island once you have reached the top. Then we have Wat Chalong. This intricate and vibrant temple is a popular attraction and a must for those visiting Phuket, especially if this is your first time in Thailand. The Wat includes a grand pagoda and decorated Buddha images. Then you need to explore Phuket Old Town. Wander along the colourful shop houses and temples of Phuket Town. The Old Town is unlike anywhere else I have seen in Thailand so far and is perfect for a stroll and traditional Thai lunch. You should also try taking a cooking class. You can take cooking classes all over Thailand, but there is something wonderful about cooking and then relaxing in the sun and eating the food you have created. There are many cooking classes available. We will leave some of our favorite in the description below and many include a market tour as well. If you are heading to Phuket with family, we recommend you head to the Splash Jungle Water Park. With slides, rides and a selection of different pools, there is plenty to do here and have a fun, busy day out. If you are staying at the Centara Grand West Sands Resort, you can experience the park for free, but tickets are available for those who aren't staying at the resort and this makes for a great, fun day out. Then we have Aquaria Phuket. If you love visiting aquariums, then Aquaria Phuket is a great way to spend the day. This is also the ideal attraction to do in the afternoon to beat the heat and get out of the sun. Then we have the Phuket Elephant Sanctuary. Opt out of the elephant rides around the country and instead visit this sanctuary. You can book a trip here directly on their website. We will leave the link in the description below and enjoy meeting the elephants as they go about their daily life. Then we have Ban Tilanka. This upside down house is a great way to get out of the heat and have a laugh with your family. Take some creative pictures and good luck trying to escape the Chamber of Secrets. Then we have the Naka Weekend Market. This popular weekend market in Phuket town is a great place to spend an evening, selling all types of street food and Thai favourites. This is a great way to taste some of the local speciality dishes. Plus, you can pick up some souvenirs along with some quirky fashion choices as well. At the most southern point of Phuket is Promphet Cape. Head here in the late afternoon to witness an incredible sunset and an amazing view. There is also a popular restaurant nearby, perfect for those wanting to enjoy the views as the crowds and sun goes down. Another thing you could do is take a day trip. Now there are several day trips that you could take from Phuket. Kata Noi Beach is not too far and offers a wonderful viewpoint, whilst many head to the James Bond Island, which was featured in the Man with the Golden Gun movie. Try snorkeling or scuba diving around the Similan Islands, or try kayaking around the Fifi Islands. Watch this video to learn about the things to know before you go to Phuket. Then to learn about the most beautiful places to visit in Thailand, watch this video. We hope you have an incredible time in Phuket and stay creative.